What's up everyone? Today we're going to be solving Leak Code 1018, binary prefix by 5. Pretty much how this problem goes is that they want a output of a list of booleans which represents if the subarray starting from the beginning is divisible by 5. Um, where's my eraser? Okay. So is 0 divisible by 5? Yes, so we put it true. Is 1 divisible by 5? No, we put it false. Is 3 divisible by 5? No, we put false. So it's pretty much taking this, then this, then this. <clears throat> now, the trick to this problem is to make sure we don't overflow, and I'll get into that. So first, let's see what they want. Let's Boolean prefix by 5 and they give us an integer array I think it's just called a okay so first let's create a list of boolean I'll call it B is a new array list and we'll take the first element let's add it if mm, okay we'll keep it dummy variable and we'll make it equal to mm, the first one if start is if start is divisible by 5 we add b dot add true else b dot add false so the first one zero is true in this case now that we get into the meat of the for loops for int i equals one because we already started the first we're gonna do i is less than a dot length I plus plus and then we're going to see if this guy if a of I is 1 what we do is we multiply our start that we had previously and by 2 and then we add 1 for example this when we take 0 and 1 or sorry, when we take 0 and the next one is a 1 we multiply this by 2 and then we add 1 and we get 1 now when we take 0 and 1 as a binary and we're adding another 1 we multiply this guy by 2 and add 1 so we're pretty much multiplying 1 by 2 which is 2 and then adding 1 which is 3 we do that if that's what it is and start is equal to start times 2 plus 1 else we know this because when we slide a number over by 1 in binary it's doubling it so binary 4 would be like 0 2 uh, 1 2 4 now if we want to double this we just slide it over by 1 and that gives you 8 right let's see 1 2 4 1 2 4 8 and that's pretty much how we do this one. Now, what we do is if start is divisible by 5, then we add true, else b dot add false. Now the trick here is to mod the start by 5 because otherwise it's going to overflow. It's going to overflow mostly because input A is pretty large. And then we pretty much, that's going to be the outer for loop, and then we return B. 
And there you have it. That's how you solve Leak Code 1018. If you like the video, please subscribe. It's going to motivate me to make some more.